When you connect your online banking in QuickBooks for the first time, QuickBooks downloads the last 30 to 90 days of transactions, which is determined by your bank. If you want to download more transactions that precedes this period, you need to manually import them into QuickBooks. To start, download your transactions from your online banking and save the file on your computer. Most of our customers choose the CSV format. Now let's take a look at the file that you've downloaded. There are three mandatory fields needed to import successfully into QuickBooks. Date, description and amount. Some banks like to split out money in and money out into separate columns, which works for QuickBooks as well. Here are a few tips on how to make sure your CSV file is ready to import. First, make sure that there aren't any blank fields in these three columns. If there isn't an amount, make sure that you enter zero in the field. Next, remove all the symbols that are in the file. If your amounts are in one column, make sure you depict money out with a minus sign rather than using brackets. Lastly, remove all other non-transactional amount like your account details, opening and closing balance. Once you're done, make sure you save your changes. Back in QuickBooks, go to the Banking page, then select File Upload. Some of you may find the option in the drop-down menu. On the Upload File page, click on Browse to select the CSV file you saved earlier, then click on Next. On this page, select the QuickBooks account that you want to upload the transactions to. Now, you need to map the transaction data in your CSV file to the fields in QuickBooks. Most of these will be automatically mapped. Make sure to select the date format found in your CSV file, which should be day, day, month, month, year, 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 for most UK banks. If your CSV file separates out the amount field into money in and money out columns, select the two column option in QuickBooks and map the debit and credit columns to those in your CSV field. Debit field in QuickBooks means money out and credit column means money in. Once you have mapped all the fields in your CSV file to QuickBooks, click on Next to review the transactions. You can choose to exclude transactions that are not needed. When you're ready, click on Next and Yes to confirm your upload. That's it. You have now successfully updated your transactions to QuickBooks. If you have more questions about important transactions, please go to our support site for more information.